What is up, my Squirtle Lights? It is I, your king, welcoming you back to more Let's Play Fallout 4. In the last episode, we finished up the Hidden Cappy contest once and for all, and we were able to, with the help of Sierra, finally meet Mr. Bradburton himself. For some reason, he was still frickin' alive and kicking, and it was very, very strange. But yeah, we actually were able to meet the guy, and that was weird. Um, got some stuff out of it. That was cool. We got a nuke nuke launcher. We also turned in all of our park medallions, which really didn't actually amount to all that much. And I uh, had a talk with Shank about the future of this, of Nuka World, and what we're going to be doing with the Raiders uh, in the future, which he hopes to have us hopefully take over the Commonwealth. And I'm not really a big fan of that idea. I don't like it very much. So I'm going to be letting that one stew for the time being while we take care of some other things here in Nuka World. So in this episode, we're going to be focusing on exploring. Now, I went back to uh, Sanctuary, dropped off some things, and also... Uh, fixed up my power armor. I also switched out Grognak's axe for Sito's Slugger instead of Shiny Slugger because I, well, it's no longer shiny anymore. I changed it from aluminum to a heavy painted slugger which hits slightly harder. Now the perk for this means that it refills my action points on a critical hit. Which means I can basically use critical hits all day on this freaking thing and that is going to be kind of fun. So... Let's go into town and go to town. Hi Cave Cricket, I haven't seen you before. What the heck? What are you? I don't like you at all. Okay, we got more of these things? Indeed. Let's give, give that one another hit. Oh my gosh, this thing absolutely wrecks. Look at that. Okay, that wasn't a kill. Um, I can do a crit there. There we go. And that refills my AP. Where did the other one go? Did you run behind me? No, wait, there you are. Come here. Got it. Alright, cool. So that cave cricket is dead. Anything else? Oh, we got a dead subtler. That's always lovely to see. A few of them, actually. Oh, jeez. Maybe there's something going on in this town of some sort. Uh, I'd like to have a little bit of a look around before we jump to any conclusions. Is there anything up here? Maybe, possibly. Let's head on up and see what we can find. It's going to be fun doing a little bit more exploring. This is pretty much going to be the last, probably the last exploring episode we have left. Other than, I guess if you technically count going after the Star Cores as exploring, it might be um, a little different, but... Uh, yeah, this is pretty much going to be it as far as just r randomly going around aimlessly looking for things. At least with the Star Cores, I know I'll have a guide telling me exactly where I'm supposed to be going. Okay, so I see some friends, and by that I mean some annoying hostiles. Let's take care of them. Thank you. Okay, let's kill you. There we go. And are there any more? Yes, indeedy. No, I want to hit the head, and also there is a forager ant over there, so let's get rid of that. Where's the forager ant at? Okay, way the heck over there. Can I hit it? Let's just fire. Maybe that'll hit. Probably. Got it. Sweet. We got more? Let's do another one. Yeah! Oh, there's so many of them. Oh, that's a legendary. Okay, I do want that. I definitely want that. Where is the last one? There you are. Oh, gosh. That's a swarm. Oh, that's a swarm. Okay. Okay. This is going to be really fun. Hello. Hold on. I'm coming. Just a second. Eh. Where are you? Oh, gosh dang it. Do don't attack my dog. Hey! Stop it! Get out of here piece of crap. Think you're all cool attacking a poor defenseless pupper. I can't believe you. Jeez. Yeah, well, there was a legendary that I shot out, so let's uh, collect whatever's on that thing's body. Maybe. Ooh, never mind. I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want any combat armor. I have no use for that whatsoever, so let's just keep moving and see what we can find in the rest of this town. There's a few undiscovered locations left for us to go after, obviously. So that's pretty exciting. Anything around here at all? Anything in here, maybe? There was that one safe, which was pretty nice. But, oh, hold on. Let's try this thing out. Come on, lucky number three. I've gotten two in this Let's Play. Oh. And both times, I believe it was considered stealing as well, which was highly unfortunate. But, all right, let's float on over this way. And uh, keeping our guard up. Oh, okay, I see a trailer over here. Hello? Hello? This could be interesting and or useful to us. Possibly. Sir? Okay, he's not hostile. Let's put our thing away. 
Evan, huh? Is that the name of the guy that they were referring to in the... Th in the... At, at Kitty Kingdom that that one lady was talking about in her journal entry? No. Maybe it was a different guy. It started with an E. Well, hey there. Uh, what brings you all the way out here? Oh, gosh. You're uh, mysteriously nice. You always this friendly to a complete stranger? Hmm. I suppose it's because I don't like to judge people until I get to know them. Sorry if I caught you off guard. The name's Evan. I've been out here for years now. I guess you could say that I like the peace and quiet. And the view. Well, look for yourself. It's something else. Since you took the trouble to find me, least I can do is return the favor. Need any supplies? Um... Sure. A couple dozen mini-nukes would do the trick. <laughs> no? No. I'm afraid that's a bit beyond my reach. Let me see what I have. Here you go. I found this on the outskirts of Nuka World a while back. It isn't doing me any good. Oh, gosh! You really are just plain well, nice. nice. Having a visitor, feel free to stay for a while and help yourself to anything else I have laying around the place. Wow, we just I found the you. nicest just person around here and enjoy the view. in the entirety of Fallout Four, right here. Just sitting atop this little trailer, completely unsuspectingly kind. Um, all right. Well, thanks, dude. Thanks for the Nuka, Nuka love recipe. I'll have to actually. Use that. So speaking of mini nukes, I actually never showed this, but I might as well show how good the nuke nuke launcher is. So here, real quick, we can take a look at Big Boy, which sh does a damage of 1,200. Now, that is not taking into account its legendary perk, which obviously ups its damage to 2,400, all for the price of one mini nuke. If you don't have Big Boy, the nuke nuke launcher is better, 1,725. The cost of crafting nuke nukes is one mini nuke and one nuka cola quantum technically though i still get a better bang for my buck by using big boy but remember that this thing does cost a lot so if you don't have the caps for it the nuka nuke launcher is slightly better i personally though i'm going to be sticking with big boy and i will not be crafting any more nuka nukes than what we already have so the three that we have are just gonna we're gonna have to make do with those at some point in the future but for now let's continue heading on over this way we had to learn about, we heard something about some hobologists, which that appears to be what is off in the distance over here. And it's something about a mansion, Grand Chester Mansion or something like that. So we're going to be checking out those soon. In fact, I think that's the mansion way over there off in the distance. Let's head over onto the hobologists first and see what they're all about. Because I'd like to know. No. Come here. Oh, that's a good hit. Get out of here. Where's the other one? There you are. Come on a little closer. I'm going to give you a good critical smack. Boom. Love it. Absolutely love it. I can use crits to my heart. Actually, I don't want to step in that because I do see toxic barrels over there. So let's just avoid that. Let's keep on heading over here and see what's going on with these hobologists that are uh, hanging out at this place. It looks like it's a truck stop of some sort. I'm assuming this is where all the suppliers would come. Open 24-7. I bet it is. Pulaski Preservation Shelter. Okay, nothing in there. Hobologist camp. Hello? Anybody here? Excuse me, ma'am. Who are you? Dara Hubble. Okay, you're apparently Welcome harmless. Stranger. We are hobologists. You may have heard of us. No? Oh, well, if you've come seeking answers to life's great questions, Hobology has them. While I sincerely hope you'll join us, even if you don't, I'm in need of a person of action. Hubology? What is that? Before the Great War, a brilliant writer named Dick Hubble invented a process for expanding the human mind. Oh, so you literally gave your surname him, after him. He was able to give his followers great mental powers. I am his direct descendant. Oh, okay. Of all his secrets, I don't believe you, but okay. Effectively known as Hubology. If you are really interested in joining us, go speak to Phil about having an alignment. We can I don't like the term you used for that, habits. alignment. We can help you master the amazing powers of the mind. Because when I think of alignment, I just think of like aligning body parts into place, like a spine or a hip or something. Anyways. I'm always for hire if the price is right. Good. 
We need spacesuits, like the one I'm wearing. I'll pay you 200 caps for five of them. Oh. I learned that there are some in the galactic zone of Nuka World. I lost two followers trying to get them ourselves. I'm hoping you'll have more luck. What do you need spacesuits for? I suppose there is no harm in telling you. They will protect us in the battle to come. Um, okay. I'll need more than that for this job. Okay, I'll give you 250 caps. Mm. Still not enough. Driving a hard bargain, I see. Okay, 300 caps. Mm. I think you can afford more than that. All right, but 350 is my final offer. Now get me those suits. Okay, we will have to do that, and then we'll find out what's going on around here. This place is freaking weird. What'd you find, buddy? What? What's that? What's over here? What'd you get? Uh, oh! Oh, there's literally just a safe in the rubble. Okay, that is completely unexpected. Wow, I can't believe they haven't even bothered with this the entire time. Like, seriously? Alrighty, then. Nice. Well, I'll take all that. Thank you. Okay, so... Uh, who are there other people around here? Hello? What the heck? What the heck? I'm hidden? Okay, I want to take a look at this real quick. Nothing. Okay, that was very, very strange. Who who are you? What? Are you ready to throw off the shackles of your neurodines? I don't like the sound of that at all. Fifty caps shows your commitment to self-improvement. You will mm. take some mm. ads during the procedure, so make sure you're healthy before starting. Isn't the first one supposed to be free? I suppose I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> wow, they completely admitted to the fact that this is literally just drugs that they're selling us. Okay, well, no, I'm not doing that. I'm, well, I'm actually kind of curious. All right, I guess I'll have a look. What is this going to do to me? I'm actually very scared. Let me start up the zebra please. Okay. Logging on to the neural gun. Oh, there's so many of them. What have you been doing? Good, good. Good. The zeta rays are withering. Well, some of them at least. And we're done for now. You'll need many more treatments. Congratulations. Um. You are now an AHS. That stands for Aligned Hub Seeker. You have taken the first step in a long journey. Here are your robes. Hubologist outfit added. Okay, well, thanks for the rads, dude. What does the outfit actually give me? Barely anything. Apparently charisma, though. I don't see any charisma in you freaking weirdos. Okay, well you've already I've already I've already talked to her, so I really don't need to do that again. And she's actually not, I believe she's upstairs, so Yeah. I think that's if you're coming from the other direction, I suppose. But I'm just gonna ignore you freaks and we'll get we'll get your spacesuits later. For now, I have a mansion to go check out. Hello? Huh? You, oh. Okay, so he's just barely a, a, a just a weird NPC. I thought his name actual name was cleansed, but evidently not. Alright, let's head on over to the mansion. Uh, before things get any more freaky over here. I really don't like this place at all. Okay, there's apparently another location over that away. Hello? Oh. Oh! Ho, ho, ho! Goodness me. I don't know why that perk still pops up when that's really o only the, the 2076 World Series baseball bat is supposed to do that. But for some reason, it just keeps happening. And I'm afraid that we're going to run into more crickets over here. There we go. There we go. That's what I thought. All right, come here, you guys. I want some, some, there we go. That's exactly what I wanted. Where's the other one? Can I hit you and get my AP back? Perfect. And where are you? Thank you. There's a good hit. One more of those, please. Oh, no, that wasn't enough. How about this one? Yeah. Oh, gosh, Dogmeat, you were right in the way of that one. I am so sorry, buddy. I am so sorry. I have no control over the arc of my swing, and that just straight up hit you, and I feel bad about it. Okay, there's apparently a silo over there as well, and a little house. We'll check those out in due time, but I'm more interested in this mansion right now. Because I want to know what the heck is going on over here. Let's put this bat away. We probably don't need it for whatever's in store. I mean, there's probably ghouls in here, but 
Grandchester Mystery Mansion. Is it a mystery? Wait, tickets? But... I'm an employee. I get in for free. Enjoy your... <laughs> oh, Max that Charisma is really nice to have. Kicking or spray painting the animatronic models is prohibited. Mm-hmm. Bloody. bloody deed, you say. Well, we'll have to take a look at that. Is that a rib cage in there? Oh, oh hold on, hold on. Yeah, Nuka K tickets. All right. What the? Why is there a mine? Hello? Ma'am? Why was there a little girl there? Hello? Okay, this is an interesting ride. Can I head down this way? What do we got over here? Hold on. What is this? Am I allowed to? No, I can't go that way. Okay, well, I was hoping. All right, let's disarm that. As a young child, Lucy proves difficult for her elderly parents. In this very room, her mother read her stories by Shelley and Paul. And histories of the Borgias. With no friends to speak of, she would capture small animals to play with. Their skins were found nailed to the undersides of the furniture. I can I kind of look at that. Are not allowed to remove items as souvenirs. I love how he has to like give these little reminders after everything. Oh, what the heck? There was a little girl at the end! And there's a Mr. Gutsy! Dog me, I don't know why you're just walking into that, but you are ridiculous. I like how this is like definitely modeled after why I don't like that at all can I shoot that okay I'm glad I killed that thing before that like had a chance to cause any damage because I didn't like where that was positioned at all and that was very very scary all right we got a revolver rifle let's keep moving Get no, go away. Thank you. I hear a turret. I like how this, yeah, this takes a lot of elements from the Winchester Mansion, if you don't know what that is. Uh, hold on. Let me kill you, and then let me kill you. Okay. If you don't know what the Winchester ma Mansion is, it was built by the heiress. Was it the heiress? Or was it the wife of? I, I can't remember if it was the heiress. I think it was actually the wife of the Winchester, uh... The guy who created Winchester rifles, and then she believed that the spirits of everyone killed by a Winchester rifle would haunt her, so she built a house that was made specifically, quote-unquote, for ghosts that would uh, hopefully satisfy the spirits of said, um, said ghosts that had been killed by Winchester rifles and hopefully keep them from haunting her for the rest of her life. It's a true story, by the way. Totally true story. And it's a real place that I believe you can still go visit as a... I don't know if it's actually still visitable as a tourist attraction, but I know it still exists, and it has a bunch of staircases that lead to nowhere, uh, that drop off of cliffs into walls, things like that, very similar to what you're seeing in a place like this, and it's a very interesting story, but also very uh, creepy and weird, and shows that the woman was incredibly superstitious. 
What the heck? What is this place? Okay, we got a bobby pin box. I'll take that, and ooh, I'll take those as well. Hello? Okay, we got a novice level lock here. What are we going to find in here? Oh my god! Why are there bodies? And then, like, fresh ones, too. Something is alive in here and killing people. Okay, we need to figure that we need to get this figured out. Let's let's continue. I don't like that at all. I don't like that at all. Okay, open that up, please. I will take all those. Thank you. What the frick is going on here? This is really, really iffy. Keep moving. Hello. Oh, please die. Oh, thank you. Okay. I probably actually didn't need to reload there, but I did anyway. Oh, gosh. Is there a precedent for that, huh? What the frick? Gas override terminal. Hold on a minute. I'm gonna open this. Contests? Nope. It wouldn't be that. Uh, how about infested? There we go. Disable gas. I don't know if that's gonna help me at all. Well, it's not wavy in here anymore, that's for sure. I'm actually like afraid to go into the next room. I have no idea what's in store for me. Can I? Oh. And then they just uh, turned on. Okay. I'm a little scared. Okay, girl. I'm really not liking this. And now I see where, where you were supposed to be waiting for me at. No, I won't take any of that, actually. Uh-huh. Functional replicas, huh? Yeah, it's a little weird. Whoa, okay! So, dog meat, we, you should have stepped back, buddy. Here you go. Here's that. Oh, gosh. Freaking jeez. Ow. Lucy claimed she was holding them in self defense as he tried to beat her with his cane. Uh huh. She said he tripped and fell onto the scissors. Sure. When asked why his fingers had all been cut off, she replied that it was so he couldn't hold the cane again. Lucy's mother was found dead in the master bedroom with a cloth doll stuffed in her mouth. Her wrists had rope burns, but no ropes were ever found. Lucy insisted that the doll was solely responsible because Morticia wouldn't give her a kiss goodnight. Can I please proceed? Lucy was committed to an asylum. You're just gonna end it all right here in this room? Birthday, she what, are the, what are the words supposed to be right there that are clearly... I mean, I don't know, maybe that's just... It looks like that's supposed to be words. 
No. Oh. Happy ending for the rest of the family. Hello? Oh, gosh. Hold on. Okay, so this was all you doing this, huh? I don't like this at all. Well, let's let's give you a couple hits. Let's give you another one. Oh! There we go. Yeah, okay. Let's. I'm going to use the Ripper now. Or the Harvester. Ah! Now you can't move. Oh, you've been disarmed. What are you going to do now? Absolutely nothing. Goodbye. Okay, I'll take the mansion key. Thank you very much. Oh, gosh. Dogmeat, you always get in the right in the fray of my melee attacks. It's kind of annoying. Got a plasma cartridge. Okay, I don't need cotton candy bites. I'll take the rat X, though. What is this guy doing in here? Seriously. So did she, like, take me to him? I got mini nukes out of that. Ooh. And apparently the mansion key does not work on this door, which is very strange to me. Oh, almost. Okay, we can do this. We can do this. How about there? Perfect. Got it. Hello? I don't want to go that way. <laughs> Hold on a minute. <laughs> Hold on a second. Oh, Nuka Punch recipe. Okay, I didn't want to miss out on that. I want to make sure I got everything in here first. Uh, we do have a terminal. I want to look at that. Grandchester terminal. Let's have let's let's have a read. Uh, tour guide controls. Let's see. Check system immediately. Zachariah entry one. You fucking terminal. You ain't good for nothing. Is this even recording what I type? Piece of junk. Ain't got nobody else to talk to. Guess I'll talk to this stupid terminal. It gets lonely up here, but I'm used to that. At least I'm getting by and I'm free. You know, I'm glad I ditched the damn gunners at Mass Pike Interchange. I was sick of taking orders from Winlock and Barnes. Both of those losers thought they were hot shit. Hope they're dead now. This Grandchester place sure is perfect. I brought some of my toys with me, and I'm going to set the place up to make the attraction a little deadlier. Haunted house, my ass. This place is a joke. This is turning out to be a pretty sweet setup after all. All I got to do is leave a few tickets by that stupid ticket taker, and they scamper in like rats to garbage. I already bagged a dumbass Minuteman that wandered in and some family traveling west. Minuteman had some good stuff, but the family only had some food and caps. Who the hell travels in the wasteland with no weapons and ammo? Idiots. Added some more traps and tweaked the bots. That last group of wastelanders almost got to me. They had a, some sweet loot, though. Finally cut a deal with those Nuker World Raiders to sell my shit to them. I was running out of food and water. Can't eat guns. One of the goddamn bots keeps malfunctioning. Can't figure out which one it is. It keeps laughing or something. Gotta be the assault drum because it kind of sounds like a little girl. Gonna take me for her to fix that crap. Interesting. Well, we haven't... Is that just out? Is that just out of... Okay, that's just out to Nuka World. I'm gonna head upstairs now. And I'm very scared of what I'm about to run into. No, seriously. Where is the, the girl... Um, no, no, you can't do that. No, no, that is not okay. You can't just phase out of existence like that. Well, I'm going to take that mini nuke. I'm going to keep having to look around. What the heck? Okay, we got you. That military grade circuit board. Oh, gosh. Really getting tired of this girl thinking she's all cute and stuff and running away. And there's some good stuff in here, actually. If you need crafting parts, which I certainly do not. If you make us blowtorch, you'll paint. All sorts of... Wait, what is that? Oh, no, give me that. Give me that. What is that? Scav! Issue number four. Plus 5% explosives damage. Definitely could go after the rest of those magazines, but I haven't need to. Oh, my gosh. This, this place really is freaking haunted. It's actually cannon. What the heck? I can't believe you! Why would you betray me like this, Fallout? Oh my goodness, that's actually... That actually kind of got me. <laughs> Didn't scare me, but I was like, Whoa, I was not expecting that. That's kind of cool. What a twist. What a, what a funny little twist. See, so yeah, this place is actually haunted. Good thing I have no need to go back in there. Okay, so this let's head onto some scaffolding so I can just hop down. And let's see, where is... Oh gosh, hello... Red scorpions! Oh, shoot. Hold on. Yeah, that's right. Come after me. Hey! Legendary de- Oh, gosh. You are very strong. Okay, hold on. I need to- I make, gotta make sure this death skull is completely held in place, because these guys are the worst. They are the worst. No, back up, back up, back up! Hey! No. That's right. You stay right there. Yeah, now you freaking mutated. Ah! Frickin Ugh, these things suck, man. Hold on, hold on. 
Yes! Where's the death skull? Yes! Here, have another one. Oh, that probably didn't feel too good. Get out of here. Oh, th yeah, those death skulls are actually legit scary. Um, they... I do believe, so... There are only a set number of enemy types that can turn into some of the strongest enemies in the game. They're basically not level capped, like, at all. And I believe the Death Skull Rad Scorpion is one of those enemies. They're very, very scary. Here, let's kill that hunter. I hope I didn't kill the ticket guy. Oh, I totally did! Oh, I'm sorry. Well, oh, Paddle Ball String! Okay, I'll take that. I don't know what that's for, but I'll take it. I hope it doesn't weigh anything. Alright, let's move on to the next location. And see what we can find. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter that I've taken care of the taking care of the uh, guy inside there now. And on top of that, I've also disarmed all of his traps and people can just randomly stumble upon it and find out that it's haunted for themselves, which is extra fun. What is this place? The Dunmore Homestead? Hello? Excuse me. If you're looking to trade, go find my husband. Otherwise, get off our property. Oh, that was, that's the kind of hospitality I'm expecting from people in Fallout 4. Where is your husband? Hello. Careful now. Don't want any trouble. If you're here to trade, fine. Else, I suggest you move along. You and your family live alone out here? That's right. Don't get any ideas. You and I were gunners back in the day. We can handle ourselves better than most. You're not wearing combat armor, though. You're wearing, like, way worse armor. What, what do you have? even have on you? Let's see. Anything of use at all. Okay, you do have weapons, which is interesting to me. Any possible... Yeah! That's what I wanted. Give me some of that stuff. And then you, in return, can have some of that, some of that, some of that. Gator claw meat, uh, some psycho, and then I can probably just sell you stim packs until I'm able to recoup uh, my funds. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Give me, give me eight caps for that entire exchange. Thank you. All righty. So let's continue. Let's head on over to this next location. I just wanted that 762 ammo, so now I actually have a bunch for my splatter cannon, which is great. I don't really, I can't really make any upgrades to this thing, so it's about as good as it's ever going to get. I mean, I can technically get, like, a scope for it, but I don't really want to. What is this place? Interesting that there's, like, a landfill over here. A Nuka World Junkyard! Okay, well then. Mr. Gutsy. So for you, sir, actually, I should use this. There we go. Nucatron Sentinel. Why are these things here? I don't like that at all. Is that a, that's like a UFO thingy? So these are actually parts from the actual park itself. That's interesting. There's definitely got to be. Yep, more things alive. Where are you? Where? Oh, let what the frick? Okay. Well, hold on. I'll deal with you in a second. In fact. I was hoping I could actually, like, shoot that out of the air, but unfortunately not. Okay, well, I see... Here, let's... Can we, like, home in on that thing? Oh, I got it. Okay, we're good. Hello, guys. There we go. There's some good shots. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Hold on. Hold on. Did I get it? I, I did damage it. Fire a few of those. Okay, can we all stop hurting my dog, please? Ow! Hey! Okay, okay. You need to chill out right now. Nope. Get out of here. Okay, that actually hurt. There we go. Dog me, are you fine? Here, have, have a couple of those. No, wait. Let me hit you. Yeah, that's right. Bleed to death. Bleed to death. Bleed to death. I said bleed! There we go. My goodness. Dogmeat, are you okay? I think I'm really close to a level up again, which is awesome. 
Can definitely use that for the last commando upgrade. Now, there was the one soldier ant I killed over here who was legendary. There you are. What do you have? Incendiary metal right leg. No, I'm good. Okay, we got more of these ant swarms, which is just awesome. Okay, hold on. Let's get a crit on you. Worth it. Okay, hold on. Yeah, come to me. Come to me. Get away from my dog. There we go. Any more? No, I think we're good. Okay, how close are we on a level up? Very, very close. Very close indeed. We can maybe get it in uh, going after whatever's in this place now that I've taken care of all those bugs. I'm going to go back to the party starter with my four shots that I got. Should take care of most things in here. I kind of want to check out what's in this cave first. I know the ultimate goal is the UFO thingy, but I want to have a look around. Hello? Oh gosh, this is kind of terrifying. Okay, well, we're getting rads. Oh, those are mines. Don't like that. There we go. There's some good damage. There we go. Any more? Alrighty, I think we got rid of everything down here. Possibly. But there are still things up above. I hear you. To quote Peppy. Wait, where'd you go? You're around here somewhere. Hold on. Where is this Protectron at? What the heck? Where are you? I actually don't know. Is it in the thingy? In uh, Where? What the frick? Okay, that Protectron is apparently glitched, so I'm just going to ignore you. I was going to say, frick, I was going to make a Star Fox quote, but now I can't. Because you're bugging out, and it's very strange. Well, let's let's head up in here, and... Oh, another medallion dispenser. Interesting. To oh, that's a tokens for Nukacade. Okay. I love the bear. That's pretty cool. <laughs> what? What? Oh, Mr. Frothy! Hello there, sir. Hold on a minute. Hold on. You need to relax. Okay, that's scary. Hold on. I got it, buddy. Just a second. It's only level 7. We're fine. We got it. We got it. We got it. Oh, my gosh. I, uh, I didn't like the sound of that at all. Jeez. Okay, well, I can use this, right? The Porta Diner. Please work. Give me... <gasps> yes! We got it! We got it, ladies and gentlemen! Oh, my gosh. We got another one. What? Get out of here. Don't freaking take away my victory. Perfectly preserved pie. Yes. Oh my gosh. I can't believe we got lucky again. Wait, why, is there, why is there a raider in here? That is very strange. Okay. Interesting. Vacuum tube. There's just all manner of things in here. This place is supremely interesting. Don't want any of that. What's upstairs? I mean, there's the freaking thing we dealt with, but I want to find out what's over here. I thought I heard another one of those Mr. Frothies. <gasps> Ooh, Starcore! Yes! We will definitely take that. I'm glad I was able to find that. Definitely going to be going after more of those. We got another Scav issue, plus 25% combat knife and switchblade damage. Okay, good to know. Also, I'm going to open up this safe, not the toolbox. I have no interest in that whatsoever. Getting some pretty good exploring done in this episode. I can't believe the things I'm finding. We're going to be going after probably the rest of the Starcores in the next episode. At least that's the hope. Um... I don't know exactly. I mean, I only have, what, seven more to go after? Six? I think it's six, actually. And I know two of them are within um, Nuka World itself, I do believe. But, alrighty, let's see. Or not Nuka World, I meant uh, Galactic Zone. That's what I meant to say. Sorry. Got distracted again. Okay, I want to still check out the UFO thing. What'd you find, buddy? What is it? Huh? What'd you get? Oh, you're going to take me back in here? Oh, okay. Well, I've already found... Yeah, it's the lockers. All right. I've already found all that, but thank you. Okay, I want the UFO. I am very curious about what's going on with this UFO. Yeah, just a minute. Get out of here. Okay, why are, why are you here? Go away. But I do want your thing. Nope, never mind. I don't want it. Can I fly up here? Oh, I definitely can. 
I definitely can. Just gotta wait for my AP to come back. Hold on. Just a second. Patience is a virtue. I Gorilla Man! I see a gorilla poking out of the trash. I love it. Up. Oh my gosh, get up. Thank you. Okay, we are here at the UFO. What are we going to find in here? Inaccessible? What? Yes. Wait, no, what? Oh my gosh, it's not letting me fire. I hate it when it does this. Hold on. Just a second. I got it fixed. There we go. Die, please. Die, 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 die. What else is here? Oh, jeez. Okay, okay. Why are you here? I don't like that at all. Go away. Yeah, blow up, blow up, blow up. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. Whoo. Okay. Why? Why? <laughs> Why, Fallout? That was just mean of you. And, hey, look, there's another fusion core for my troubles. Okay, everything is fine. Everything is fine. Hi, dog meat. Hi, how are you, buddy? Hey, can I go inside here now, please? Why did you do this to me? I want to see what's in the steamer trunk as well. Okay. What? Still inaccessible? Okay, apparently I had to do that. So let's do that and then back to the final judgment. Can we get in now? Why not? Is that not enough? Do I need to do more? Ah, what the? What am I stuck on? Get me out of here. Hold on. Can I still not open this thing? What? But hold on. I put all the fusion cores in. Just a second. Ugh, get me around that. Thank you. What the heck? There's only the one. Wait. Missing power distributor. Where do I get that? Oh, I gotta figure out where that is. Frick! Okay, so evidently, this is actually part of a quest that I'm already currently on, so I'm just going to leave that be for the time being. And, uh, I think that's actually... Well, actually, I didn't check out the brick building. Let's check that out really quickly before we call this an episode. Because I actually think we are about done here. I haven't gone all the way north up to the where the power plant is just yet. Has you got anything in here of use, possibly? Some lockers with a glass pitcher in it, but otherwise... Oh, oh, here we go. Okay, we got an ammo box and a safe. Let's open up the safe and see what we can find. If we can actually get into it, please. Come on. There we go. Yes. All right, so next episode, we're going to be going after the star cores and the spacesuits. And that is going to be incredibly exciting, if I do say so myself. But for now... We're going to call this one an episode. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so very much for watching this episode of a Let's Play Fallout 4. I hope you've all enjoyed it very, very, very much, and I will see you all in the next one.